Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has rolled out Chrome version 142, which is now the latest release. So to double check, we have this latest version upgrade. We head to our main menu, help about Google Chrome. Latest version in bold, 142.0.744.59 or 0.60. Other or running version 142 on Windows, Mac and Linux means your browser is fully patched and up to date. Now, this is what I would consider to be a light release, and most of the changes are taking place under the hood for developers and system admins. And first of all, the change log has not been updated to indicate what security fixes have rolled out. I'm almost guaranteed there will be security fixes, but nothing in the change log. The reason for that is because it hasn't been updated yet or because Google doesn't want any information to get into the wrong hands before most browsers have been updated. Possibly there's a critical or a zero day. But nonetheless, if so, if the security information does become available after posting this video, if anything drastic is mentioned to what I've said in this video, I will let you guys know and keep you in the loop. Now moving on to what's new in the browser. Where first of all, Chrome is getting a better security barrier called Origin Keyed Process Isolation, which according to Google is a deeper level of protection than before, making it much harder for a bad website to mess with other open websites, which I think is a nice move. And if we head into privacy and security and security, we get in smarter cookie and tracking protection, where the browser now is taking steps to prevent certain types of user tracking and it's making cookies more secure by default. So I think that's also a nice move taking place under the hood as mentioned. And then just to mention two changes for enterprise environments where Google's Gemini is getting further integrated if you have a subscription into the browser which is basically Gemini built into the Chrome. And I posted on that when it was still very much in its early days of development, when it was called Glick, G-L-R-C. But that is rolling out now more to enterprise environments. And then for companies managing their employees' browsers, there are new administrative tools, including the ability to run remote commands and new policies for greater control, which I think if you are a system admin, is a step in the right direction. Now, that's what... I thought you may be interested in quite a light release, lots of development stuff taking place under the hood for devs and so on, which won't be of much interest to your average home user. Now, that's what's rolled out. And what hasn't rolled out is no split tabs yet. So I thought by now we would have had split screen. But for some reason, Google does not want to push that out yet to the stable. And I know you're going to be asking the question about uBlock Origin and MV2 extensions. And yes, Chrome 142 removed all previous workarounds. But the good news is, is I have posted a video earlier today. I'll link it down below and in the end screen on how you can get uBlock Origin back and working in this latest release, Chrome 142, because there is an extra step to the previous video and you can get it working. Check the video out. It'll be linked down below and in the end screen. So guys, that's more or less what's new in Chrome version 142. Not too much to write home about. I'm not noticing any tweaks or adjustments when it comes to the UR or menus at this stage. But nonetheless, that's more or less what's new in version 142. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.